When performing inferential statistics, you might notice that calculating the variance of a sample is different from calculating the variance of a population. In particular, in a sample, we divide the sum of squares by n minus 1, or the number of observations minus 1. Now, this isn't just an arbitrary rule. It's done because we want, on average, the variance of the samples to be equal to the variance of the population. In other words, we want it to be an unbiased estimator of the population variance. To show you an example of this, let's take a simple data set of three numbers. So let's say our observations were 10, 5, and 8. So let's say these are test scores or some measurement. Now, if we calculate the variance of this population, we can use an Excel command called var p and select all of these. We see that the variance is 4.222, repeating, of course. If we're to take a sample of any of these numbers, we would have nine different combinations. And I'll show you what these look like. So we could have 10 and 5, we could have 5 and 10. Uh, these are all random samples from this population, and they can all be done with replacement. So for example, 10 and 10, uh, 5 and 5, 8 and 8, and the rest of the combinations. All right, so there are nine possible combinations in total. Now, there are a couple different ways we can calculate the variance. We can have the sum of squares for each of these pairs of combinations divided by n, or the sum of squares for each combination divided by n minus 1. So if we take the population variance, in other words, divide by n, we will get the following for each combination. All right. So if we take the average of all of these variances, we see that we get an average variance of 2.111. Notice that that's very different from this population variance of 4.22. However, if we calculate the variance divided by n minus 1, in other words, using this variance command, just var, no p, for each of these combinations, we can also take the average of all of those. And you see that on average, the variance for each of these samples, on average, is equal to the variance of this population. So dividing by n minus 1, it's not just an arbitrary convention. The idea is we want the average variance of all these samples, all these possible combinations we could draw from the population, to equal the average variance of the population.